Now, before I finish up, I want to talk to you about our numbers in Richmond because I think they really bear out the empirical truth of what I have just said. This is our baseline year. 2001 was the year before we established our first relationship toward an adoption guarantee community with Richmond Animal Care and Control. This is what the numbers looked like, and as you see at that time, on a combined basis, we were live releasing about 56% of the homeless animals. With respect to the city agency, Richmond Animal Care and Control, they were euthanizing about 62% of the animals that they took in. Now, very first year, very first year, their euthanasia rate has already come down, and that refutes all those claims that if the private organization goes to limited admission, the public agency will be inundated. Far from it. The very first year, our live release rate went up to 90%. Their live release rate went up significantly, and our combined live release rate went up dramatically. Yeah. All right. This is 2006. This is the first year in which we saved every healthy animal in Richmond. We were also saving a large number of the treatables, but not all the treatables, but we were saving every healthy. And as you see, by 2006, our combined live release rate had gone up to 78%. And as a, on a combined basis, we were euthanizing about 21% of the animals in Richmond. And then this is last year. Last year, we s continued, as we have ever since 2006, to save all the healthy homeless companion animals, and we are now saving about three-quarters of the treatables as well. Our combined live release rate in Richmond is now 79%. And the most interesting thing is that when you compare last year with our baseline year, Richmond Animal Care and Control just the public agency, Richmond Animal Care and Control, is killing about 1,000 fewer animals than they did in the baseline year. And the Richmond SPCA, who is, we are now no-kill, the only animals that we ever euthanize are unhealthy, untreatable animals, and that for us is about 850 fewer animals at uh, our organization than we did in the baseline year. We are now transferring about 1,100 more animals from Richmond Animal Care and Control to the Richmond SPCA in 2009 than we did in the baseline year. Together, our live release rate has now grown from 56% to 79%. And I will tell you that we do this, I think, by sharing core values, sharing a mission, sharing a vision, and both of us believing that we can save all the healthy and all the treatable animals in Richmond, and I believe that in a very short period of time we will now accomplish saving all of the treatables. I look forward to that. I am very proud of how far we have come, and I am now going to turn this over to Suzanne, but I look forward after Suzanne speaks to answering any questions that you might have.